Mm -hmm. to give us a teaser on what is to be expected at camp summer camp 37 we warmly welcome Pierre Leiber director of the Department of Youth Empowerment and youth, youth officer Stephen Gilbert welcome welcome gentlemen thank you and the first question we have for you guys is what's the significance of this year's theme well, this year's theme, let me just make sure that I have the wording right and I don't say anything. <laughs> um, All righty. Oh, so the theme for this year is your image, your brand. So let's create good impressions. Summer Camp 37, full of hope and positive expression. And the idea is basically that, to encourage people to, or young people to recognize that um, the way the world perceive them they have a lot of power over that and control over it, so they should be mindful of it and present a positive Im image and create a positive brand, one that would redound benefits to them as opposed to positive benefits as opposed to being seen less than how they would prefer to be seen and, and to constantly um, have that as um, in the back of the mind and ground their decisions in terms of the way they project and allow the world to perceive them. I like that because sometimes persons, older persons, tend to think of the inexperience of youth as meaning that they should not be allowed to have their say to make contributions things, yeah. to different mm -hmm. things. Yeah. So, is it, would it be something along those lines, empowering these young people? Yeah, mm -hmm. Actually, yes. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, and the idea is to. Um, help them to understand and appreciate their place in the world and how their image affects them and and hopefully after this they would more of them would develop and display I mean more rounded um, whole positive brands because um, there's also the challenge there are some young persons who shape the image of um, a gangster ghetto bad man hot girl, well, it's what, all the latest things <laughs> yes. that are not necessarily um, yeah. beneficial to them um, in the wider societal context and mm -hmm. professionally um, either as well. So all of those things we want to bring to the fore and have them to consider okay. uh, in their daily lives. Yes. Okay, so do you think there is any overreaching objective of this year's summer camp? It's a technical uh, overall <laughs> um, fun, safe, um, positive environment where young people could be empowered. I'm sure the kids are happy to get back. Yeah, parents too. <laughs> yeah, get them out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. But, but summer yeah. camp is good. I think I actually got on board the summer camp in 2000 mm -hmm. and I did it up to 2007 and once I got my job I could no longer do the summer camp. But as I told Pierre earlier, I need my position back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming as dom leader once I can. Yes, mm -hmm. I can handle the kids. I can handle them. Mm. Yeah. Stevie, why are you laughing at me? No, because <laughs> it's, it's... A it's, different breed of kids? No, it's, it's a very um, heartening thing to hear persons who have been a part of the camp. Mm -hmm. um, express their um, availability to mm -hmm. wanting to come back and of help course. us. Because in some instances, we, we have had a shortage of persons okay. who would show interest in becoming what we would call dorm leaders, okay. or what people would call mentors. Mm -hmm. We have had a shortage over the, over the last couple of years, and we are hoping that this year will be a little different. Okay. So what are the, the qualities that somebody would have to have to volunteer at the camp. What is, are the prerequisites? What are the things you look for and that somebody would need in order to volunteer? Well, first of all, um, you have to be at least 18 years old. Okay. Um, if you're mature enough at 17 and you display um, a degree of maturity, uh, ability to learn, team spirit, um, you have an industry about you, and you willing to do the work, you're able to manage stress, manage conflicts and so forth, mm -hmm. then we'll take you on. These qualities um, uh, apply for persons older as well. So we take leaders from 18 and above. Okay. And once you're able to learn and understand that young people are not animals and they are of value and your job is to ensure the safety, their guidance and so forth, and you're to learn and to adapt and grow. 
your priority is the development of the young people yes. and your care, mm -hmm. then we can work with you. And there is um, extensive training prior to immediately before um, summer camp and yeah. we're able to um, help them evolve, grow um, theoretically mm -hmm. and <laughs> practically right. on, the, on the ground on, on camp as well. Yeah. So what's the, what's the application procedure then for somebody who's listening and, and say, well, I have all of those prerequisites. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you have all of them right away, but uh -huh. yeah. children test you. Um, <laughs> so true. Yeah, the adults test you. Um, but, you know, once you come through this crucible and you, 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 you stick to it and you remain mm -hmm. focused, you're going to be even stronger. Yeah. And you'll recognize me. Um, I might not have had all before, you know, but <laughs> um, I see we are able to improve. And um, so they could come to the Department of Youth Empowerment, top floor of the cable building on on street anytime during work hours and ask for a form, fill it out, bring it back in on time. You'll get a call um, to undertake training. Um, it's three Saturdays prior to camp and on the lead up, the immediate two days before camp, you have a different set of training. And set up. Yeah, time. But over the week and uh, we'll have an um, interview process as well. So that oh, we're able to... Oh, so we're being interviewed now. Okay, okay. Um, because when I went into 2009, I don't remember getting an interview, I just sent in my application. I guess I was just lucky. Yeah, you might have been one of your lucky ones. <laughs> yes. You've seen your, your potential and abilities and Ooh. have enough confidence in you. And, and I love it. To say that you were a good leader. Okay. And, and you heard you it were, here first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a loss when you moved on to Aww. pursue yeah. higher and, and oh, your careers. I, I, it? <laughs> that is, that's one of the reasons why I said earlier that we've lost so much excellent group leaders because of careers, mm -hmm. uh, persons moving on in life, persons getting married, having children, mm -hmm. and then, you know, but that's something we have to live with and try to move on. How long has you, have you been at oh, this man. <laughs> Tell us. Okay, I have been volunteering with the Department of Youth Employment for over 20 years. Wow. I have recently gotten a job with the department for probably the last five years, but okay. overall I've been with the department for over 20 years. Yeah. And, and there are different ranks to come up. As Mr. Gilbert will indicate, he um, volunteered with the camp some years ago um, with the department and would have been in the camp as dorm leader and you know took on different positions and is now um or has been for some time part of the management team and and it speaks to one of the main focuses of the department and the camp itself which is to develop leadership capacity among young mm -hmm. people and to afford them the opportunity to learn and to develop their leadership management um, flexibility skills time management um, human resource management youth development and so forth and create an opportunity for a well-rounded, um, an opportunity for young people to be well-rounded in the development. And, and uh, we've seen where it has benefited a lot of young people who have gone on to pursue careers. Um, in Give us some examples. Fields. You don't yeah. have to name names, but. Moses. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's several others. I wouldn't want to call all of them names, but mm -hmm. we could trace a lot of young people who have come to the Department of Youth yep. Empowerment Summer Camp, who have gone on to be nurses, doctors, police officers, defense force persons, entrepreneurs. We had Alicia White the other day. I didn't remember her until I got home. So then mm -hmm. I messaged her quick on Facebook and she said, oh yeah, you are my dog leader. Yeah. 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 That? And we've run business um, simulations on camp and a lot mm -hmm. of entrepreneurs yeah. right now who are starting and managing their own businesses yep. could trace yep. their experience back right back to that camp. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, we have persons who have um, um, pursued leadership positions across the private sector, public sector in the region and around the world nice. coming out of summer camp. Yeah. So yeah. It's, um, it's an opportunity to, to learn um, on your face, to tell mm -hmm. the truth, um, <laughs> because it could be intense at times, yeah. very yeah. challenging. But at the end of the day, once you apply yourself and you really um, put the effort in and do what you ask and expect it to do and to again learn and grow, um, the benefits are indescribable. Nice. Yeah. Unless you waste your time, which some people do. Yeah. 
but Unfortunately, not all. Unfortunately, we always have the one. <laughs> but the majority is yeah. there to learn. Yeah, but again, it's an opportunity and part of our mandate to help to develop young leaders, and this is one of the major um, aspects of it. Um, and that's the leader's um, perspective. Right. Some are campers as well. Um, we've seen where a lot of them have evolved yeah. through their participation in a camp. Some okay, them, so some somebody might have come as a troublemaker. Oh, yeah. And yeah. after <laughs> the second year, the person has basically reformed and is yeah. now showing more leadership capacity. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exciting thing yes, that's that, you can, <laughs> that you can remember <laughs> an experience that took place during the camp that is something that will be going down in history in your mm -hmm. memory and it maybe even Pierre's mm -hmm. memory. Mm -hmm. Something that happened that yeah. that was you know something it could be exciting, it could be not exciting, just something that sticks with you. Well, there's a few, a, a few that stands out, but I want to touch on, on a young artist who came to our summer camp. From the first instant, he, he was um, classed as a troublemaker. Mm. And um, if you see that young individual today, you wouldn't um, think that he came through the ranks of our summer camp and also mm -hmm. was deemed as a troublemaker. He's one of our very own local singers, well known locally, internationally. And I, every time I see him, I'm, I'm humbled. Mm. Reminds me of we could look back at where a person started mm -hmm. and where they end up today. Yeah. I'm speaking about a very good friend of mine. Mm. Up to now, he don't pass me anywhere on the street. Nice. And our very own um, Byron Messiah oh. came to our summer camp, started giving trouble from day one. <laughs> you know, we had to pull him out of a dam that he was in, place him in another dam because he and the leader at the time wasn't getting along. Mm -hmm. And it was a learning process for him and for us. Um, for me personally, I never experienced someone um, that's always in trouble. Every time you look around, Byron, Byron, Byron. But as camp um, got more and more intense, and, mm -hmm. and even after camp, um, I think he, he developed. Yeah, he realized. He's mm -hmm. one of the leading um, artists in Sync Kids. And he was making his mark already. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Byron. Yeah. That's how you have to look at it. <laughs> yeah. He was making himself known. So you had to know Byron. Right. Yeah. You had to know him. He, yeah. he, he was that kind of a person <laughs> that he always wants to be known. He, wants, yeah, exactly. he always wants to get attention. Right. Yeah. So I guess he thought back then the only way to get attention was to give trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. I can recall in the early years when I was first, um, when I first joined the team um, and we had summer camp. Man, it was stressful. There were some young people, <laughs> some young people who had to get punished, like yeah. several times a day, <laughs> yep. all, all in the night when we were having staff meeting and they, all dorms they are supposed mission. to be locked down. Yes, and quiet. You know who jumping through the window yep. to throw powder, to throw powder. Mm -hmm. yep. and I used to be the one go go f pick them up mm -hmm. and, and deal some punishment. <laughs> Kneel down. And, and every stop. day, several days, <laughs> like for years. Yeah. Same set of every camp, same set. Mm -hmm. And would you but believe? They enjoy that. Yeah, they enjoy mm -hmm. that and they remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but now they're in positions where they have to do perform the same. Right. Role they're the leaders. And, and right. provide um, <laughs> positive advice to the young persons that, that come across their hands. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's good to see the evolution oh, okay. and and okay. to see young people grow into leaders. Okay, right. so Pierre, when is the camp slated for, and what what are the age groups does it, does the camp cater to? It's a broad question. The age the the camp is officially for the dates July fourteenth, July seventeenth. 17th, to July 24th. 17th <laughs> to 24th is when campers would be on the compound. Okay. But the leaders would be there from the 13th to 14th yeah. doing their training. preparatory work yeah. and last bit of training. And for a few days after the campers leave to take down. So that's all mm -hmm. part of the, the development training as well. Mm -hmm. okay. And we cater to campers from the ages of 8 through 16 and for group leaders from 18 and above.
Okay. So where is the camp taking place? Give us all the details and invite persons to send in their applications. Uh, it takes place at the Beach Island Primary School and uh, you could uh, get application forms from your various um, schools, pri primary and high schools across the island and forms are also available at the Department of Youth Empowerment, top floor of the Cable Building. Nice. And um, Stephen. that was as well, Stephen. <laughs> no problem. How, how, invite persons to come to the camp well, and send I'm, in their applications because we know it's by an application process. So hopefully nobody gets turned down. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I, I simply want to say that it's been two years or uh, more that we haven't actually had a summer camp because of the COVID. So I know the waiting. anticipation mm -hmm. of a lot of young people is great. Mm -hmm. So I just want to invite persons, let them know early that space is limited, mm -hmm. we could only cater for a certain amount. So the earlier the so better. So the earlier birds mm -hmm. get the best worm, the earlier you come, <laughs> collect your farms. As Mr. Leibert said, farms were distributed to all of the primary and high schools around the Federation. So go to your um, head teacher, ask the teacher, um, get your farm. We also have farms at our office at the um, Department of Youth Empowerment, third floor. For some persons who might not know where our office is, we are just above Freedom of Him. Once you know where Freedom of Him is, just come one stairs up and you'll be able to find us. Well, that as, as it says, something to break the <laughs> ice. You know, you normally come to sessions or events where um, persons are not too familiar with mm -hmm. the program, they know what's going to be happening. You're sitting in a room or standing in a room with a bunch of strangers, mm -hmm. you know, a little mm -hmm. tense, little so ice. So take the chill off yeah. the room yeah. and, and yeah. make everybody warm up warm to each other. Little, get you more relaxed. Break and up the yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In the spirit for the sessions ahead. Stephen, what do we have to do? Okay, so <laughs> uh, what I have here is a simple word of paper. Tell the people. Stephen. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. mic pack is on the chair. Oh. I don't want you oh, to move it came off. Yeah, put it in a pocket. So mm -hmm. I have a simple word of tell the paper. Mm -hmm. So what I normally do for ice breakers, I pass it along and you can take any amount of the pegs that you need. I'm not going to tell you, but because, we need because, to of, use. Time, because <laughs> of time, we're only going to take one. No, no, no. I'm giving you a choice between one and five. Take any okay. amount that oh, you need. I want the most. Fine. So there you go. So take as much as you need. <laughs> to I like the fact that you started with ladies first, but five. here you're not getting away. <laughs> any yeah. amount that you need. <laughs> no, you said one to five. Yeah, because I would have taken more. <laughs> One to five, yeah, that's one, two, one, two three, four, mm -hmm. okay. I'll take what? one more, but somehow I feel this is a trick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pia, why you took, why you took one? I'm not, you know, I don't need okay. much. So, Stephen, I have four, right? <laughs> I have <Okay>. five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we're gonna do with okay. these um, five segments of toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Should be interesting, uh, So, what we normally do, you know uh -huh. that everyone has their uh, it's the amount of pigs that you have is the amount of things you're going to tell us about. Yourself, I figured that. Ah. So you have one pig, you normally start with doing the uh, uh, I regret taking <laughs> <laughs> I figured there was a catch. Well, like, for example, my name is Stephen Gilbert, and since I only have one pig, one thing about me is that I love playing dominoes. That is my goal. I, I, any given day, I would sit down all day and just play dominoes. Wow. So I only have one pig. Interesting, okay. Stephen. So, Please. if you have five pegs, you have to tell us. Five? No, I think it's Pear's turn next. No, <laughs> we're going in one. Oh, no. See, ladies, 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 I have four pegs and four things about me. I'm very inquisitive. I like to communicate. I miss summer camp. And what's the other thing about me? I think I'm outgoing. Although some days I think I'm, intro I'm an introvert. Yeah. Those are my four. Okay. Hi. So back to the mail. No, no, no. <laughs> Sex and female, come on, come on. Sure, if you want. Okay, yay! 
I have one, one, one um, smart one peer. Um, my one. name is Pierre Leibert, and I love the visual arts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Indeed. And my name is Alicia Daniel Blake, and I've got five whole pieces of paper. <laughs> I'm so one. That's your quarter. <laughs> one. I'm short, which which is pretty obvious, and I always wish I had some more height. Two. I'm the mother of three girls, mm -hmm. which is another critical part of me. I love to read, and sometimes I don't get to do it as much as I would like to because I can't find the time. I live at St. Peter's, which is a cosmopolitan because there are so many different persons from mm -hmm. different areas we have um different nationalities all up at st peter's and it's it's a beautiful place to live and Hi. i'm hosting gms kim <laughs> <laughs> that one was too obvious that was too <laughs> Exactly. You okay. Okay. I like to exercise. Good stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like hiking too. So mm -hmm. that's part of the exercise. 